are also out in full force. But Cardin's day began around 7 this morning when he voted in Baltimore County. He then traveled to a high school in Prince George's County, and that's the home base of Republican Michael Steele. And Cardin says he's hoping his race will be decided tonight, but he admits the absentee ballots may well determine the outcome of the Senate race as well as many other races. Look, we're prepared for a long night. We're prepared to, for tomorrow, the next day, whatever it takes. I just want to make sure that every voter has a chance to vote and every vote is counted. Just urge people to continue to be out there at the polls. Come on out to vote. People are participating. It's a big election. Huge differences between Mr. Steele and me on the, on the issues. Come on out and vote. Well, this Cardin party will probably start around 8 tonight, shortly after the polls close. And, of course, they'll be here very late. That's what they're expecting. Let's go live now to Joy LaPola. She is at the Steele headquarters in Bowie. Joy? All right, thank you, John. Well, right now, Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele is locked in a tight race with Democratic Congressman Ben Cardin, both vying for a seat in the U.S. Senate. Well, earlier today, as Steele headed to the polls, he talked of how he was happy to see other African Americans running for office, even those who are Democrats. This is an exciting election for a lot of reasons. I mean, I, I think it's historic to have you know, African American uh, on the ballot for this type of a race, and my friend Harold Ford running in, in uh, Tennessee, and um, you know, it's just uh, I think it's it's a it's a wonderful thing to see this, this new emergence of, uh, of the African American voice in politics. And we'll of course be hearing more from the Lieutenant Governor later tonight. Reporting live in Bowie, Joy Lapola, Fox 45 News at 5:30. Joy, John, thank you very much. Right next door in the state of Virginia, both Senate candidates are licking their wounds tonight after a nasty race in that Commonwealth. It's virtually neck and neck between Republican incumbent George Allen and Democratic challenger Jim Webb. The two are virtually tied in voter surveys going into this election. Polls are reporting extraordinarily high turnout today. Elections officials say turnout could be as high as 65% in the state of Virginia. Another very tight and dirty race at times that may determine who controls the U.S. Senate also is in Missouri. That race pits incumbent Republican Jim Talent against Democratic challenger Claire McCaskill. The latest polls give McCaskill a slight lead, but it's still too close to call at this hour. The race showed echoes of Maryland's Senate race. Actor Michael J. Fox, you may recall, appeared in the ads there as well. But polls also show the chief concern among voters there is the war in Iraq. And of course, don't forget, you'll get complete coverage of all the key races across Maryland and indeed across the U.S. tonight on a special election edition of Fox 45 News at 10. So keep your dial set right here. Will the weather affect voter turnout tonight? We're going to find out. Chief Meteorologist Vetus Reed is here with your first look at the forecast. Vetus. Well, Jennifer and Jeff, it does look like we are seeing a little bit of rain coming down out there around Baltimore. It started around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The further south or east you went in the state, you ran into a little heavier rain. And it's going to pick up in pace as we head through the overnight hours. Looking at the storm impact tonight through Wednesday morning, we're going to see this area of low pressure right up the coastline. It's wrapping in a lot of Atlantic moisture, so it's going to be picking up in pace through the overnight hours. It's raining pretty good right now down in Richmond. Virginia, so that's a little hint of things that comes as the storm builds up from the south. So we could see some localized flooding because some areas can get up as, many, as much as about an inch to two inches of rain. Some areas even a little bit more down to the south of us. Right now, some steady rainfall building in just south of Washington, D.C. Like I said, down towards Richmond, a little heavier, and out towards Ocean City. So it looks like we're going to continue to see this building tonight. And also, it's bringing with it the potential, like I said, with some flooding. Flood watch for parts of uh, Pennsylvania over into the eastern portion of the, of the mid-Atlantic, over towards Delaware and parts of New Jersey. They do have coastal flood warnings as we continue to see this rain build in. So tonight, showers expected. Temperatures down to about 50 degrees for the overnight low. We will have warmer air on the way. I'll have a detailed look at that coming up. Next on the News at 530, torrential rains and a rescue by helicopter. We'll show you what happened. And Faith Hill, a sore loser. More about her little outburst when we come back. A deadly twister rips through northern Japan today, killing at least nine and injuring dozens. The storm also knocked out power to several hundred homes and caused major damage to buildings there. Officials say this is the worst tornado ever recorded in Japanese history. And the U.S. Coast Guard springs into action in Seattle, where torrential rains continue to devastate parts of the Pacific Northwest. They rescued a couple and their pets after the couple became trapped in the massive flooding there. Luckily, the rescue went very smoothly and no one was hurt.
Friday, the marriage between Britney Spears and Kevin Federline has become toxic. She filed for divorce from Kevin Federline today. According to the paper, she cites irreconcilable differences. They have a one-year-old son and a baby boy that was born in September. Well, one country singer found a win by Carrie Underwood. Very upsetting, apparently. Carrie Underwood! Well, as you just heard, former American Idol Carrie Underwood won the award for Best Female Vocalist at the Country Music Association Awards last night. But as you can see, Faith Hill apparently didn't take it very well. Well, she released a statement later saying that it was all a joke, that reaction, that she thought that she would never in the world be disrespectful toward another musician. She says that is just unimaginable. Well, don't forget, the four-hour, two-day premiere of American Idol airs on January 14th and 15th right here on Fox 45. Up next for the Ravens, rookie sensation Vince Young. Bruce Cunningham has a preview coming up next in sports. Ravens travel to Tennessee this Sunday. Yeah, time to win there as well. Here's Bruce. Yeah, uh, not a bad idea at all. Everyone on the Ravens roster who wanted to vote on this election day got their chance. This was, after all, their off day. And when they get back to work tomorrow, their minds will be on a man who lost an election last year. I'm talking about Tennessee Titans quarterback Vince Young, the runner-up for the Heisman, who became the starter earlier this season in Nashville. He's got typical, maybe better than average numbers for a rookie QB, but he hasn't faced a defense playing like this one either. The giveaway takeaway ratio is a ridiculous plus 14. So young Mr. Young could be in for a long day, but that doesn't mean the Ravens are taking him lightly. I'm anxious to kind of see what uh, what how he's developing, and he's a tremendous talent. Obviously, everybody was very focused on him during uh, the draft and saw a lot of him obviously and the potential for those abilities and you knew that at some point he'd be in the game and he'd go through the things that every rookie quarterback goes through to the college game and the mids are going bowling the naval academy has accepted a bid to meet an as yet unnamed acc opponent in the, the meineke car care bowl in charlotte december 30th it'll be the mids fourth straight bowl appearance an academy record they became bowl eligible last week when their victory over duke gave them six wins on the season navy's option offense leads the nation in rushing averaging 325 yards per game on the ground they will face the sixth seventh or eighth choice from the acc maryland's terrapins open their regular season tonight at the comcast center in the 2k sports classic when they host hampton we'll have highlights tonight on that on sports unlimited back to you all right, thank you, Bruce. How does the weather look for the rest of the week? Chief Urologist Feed is free. rejoins us now with a look at the five day. Beat us, what do you say? Well, guys, it does look like the rain's coming down out there, and some spots a little heavier as you go down uh, just east of I 95 corridor. You see the heavier showers in yellow here across parts of the bay and the eastern shore. But we'll continue to see that build in as this area of low pressure wraps up out of the south, and those showers will come down heavier as we head through the overnight hours, lingering into tomorrow morning. We could get a couple of inches of rain out of this as this pushes through. Now, let's go to the computer showing uh, this in motion pushing into the Baltimore area. You can see over Towson, Baltimore City, and Glen Burnie, Annapolis right now getting a decent burst of rainfall, and this will continue to ride up out of the south. Now, what this low is bringing with it is not only just the rain, but it's bringing also uh, the warmer temperatures. We'll see those temperatures increasing as this area of low pressure drags up out of the south, riding along the eastern seaboard. Wednesday morning, but still it's going to leave some heavy rainfall in its wake as we head through the early morning hours tomorrow morning. So expect to see a slow rush hour commute. Looking at temperatures right now downtown, 53 degrees, humidity levels 83%, winds out of the east at 6, and our pressure 30.07 and falling. Bigger picture here showing that area of low pressure working with another low, a strong low in the upper portions of the Great Lakes region. So a lot of moisture that's wrapping in from the uh, from the mid-Atlantic region. So you can see that low is going to track up through the Tennessee Valley and we will get inundated with heavy rainfall. So a lot of leaves down on the ground, some low-lying areas and some of the urban areas can run into some uh, localized flooding tonight because the potential rainfall, like I said, could be anywhere from about two inches up to about three inches across parts of central Maryland down through Virginia, including Richmond. So a lot of rain expected with this system as this low continues to track up out of the south. Expected forecast showing those temperatures uh, going up to 70 degrees. The rain gets out of here by Thursday, Friday, and then into Saturday. Some sunshine with temperatures back in the 60s. All right, thank you, Vitas. That is all for Fox 45 News at 530. Please join us again for a special election edition of Fox 45 News at 10. Take care. We'll see you then.